Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question maximum depth of binary tree. So you are given the root of binary tree and return its maximum depth. A binary tree's maximum depth is a number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. So let's see the example. So you are given this kind of tree and uh, this is a root node and the maximum depth of nodes should be like 15 or 7. And the output should be 3 because from root node and the maximum depth of node, um, we have a 3 nodes, like a 1, 2, 3. That's why we should return 3. And I think uh, we can solve this question with depth first search and the breadth first search. I'll show you two ways to solve this question. Okay, so let me explain depth first search first. So let's break the question into small part. So imagine you are given only 3. So in that case, what is the maximum depth? It's obvious, 1. So how about this? So what is the maximum depth? It's obvious, 2. So how about this? So what is the maximum depth? It's obvious, 3. So how about this? So now root node has left node and uh, right node. So we need to compare the uh, uh, depths of left side and the right side. So in that case, uh, on the left side, maximum depth should be 1, uh, only this subtree. So how about uh, on the right side? So how about uh, this subtree? So maximum depth should be 2. So compare 1 with 2. So 2 is uh, uh, bigger than 1. So maximum depth should be 2. But uh, be careful, if you return only 2, that should be wrong answer. Because uh, uh, we didn't count the uh, root node. So when we get the uh, only root node, so maximum depth was 1. So in that case, we need to add plus 1. So total maximum depth should be 3. That's why our output should be 3. So there is a formula, like for each node, every time like check max depth and compare left side and right side. And then plus current node. So this is a formula. So let's say we are now 20 and uh, check the depth of left side and the right side. And uh, in this case, left side is zero and the right side is one and I compare two numbers. So it's obvious one is bigger than zero. So maximum depth should be one uh, for this max formula and then plus current uh, the current number 20. So total maximum depth uh, of this subtree should be two. So that's why uh, two here. Yeah, uh, that looks fine. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. So I'll show you how to write a code. Actually, it's very simple. Let's write a code with depth first search. So first of all, check the base case. If not root, just return zero. So which means we reach the end of tree. So I'm in leaf node. And then um, return one plus max and the call function recursively, max depth and passing the left node. So root dot left versus, so I copy this. I, and the versus uh, root right. Actually, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, uh, this solution works. And the time complexity of this question is order of n because I touch all nodes once. And uh, regarding the space complexity, uh, in the worst case, the tree is completely unbalanced. So each node has only left node or only right node. Then um, recurse, recursion call would be uh, occur n times. So, I mean, the height of the tree. So therefore, so the maximum size of call stack would be uh, order of n linear time. 
So actually that's it. So next, uh, let me explain how to solve this question with breast first search. So let me explain with breast first search. I draw down the same tree here and I use Q and initialize with root node, a three in this case. Basically, I iterate through all nodes, level by level, like this, and this, and this. And then, uh, every time I pop the first node from Q and check it has a child, if we find a child, add them to Q, and then move down next level. So let's begin. And first of all, uh, before uh, iterating, uh, I need a one to depth and then uh, pop the first node from Q, uh, three in this case, and uh, three check three has child or not, and uh, three has nine and twenty, so add two nodes to the Q, like a nine and a twenty, and then let's move down the next level. In the case we need add plus one to depths and uh, pop the 9 from Q and uh, check 9 has a uh, child, there's no child so I don't add anything to Q so how about 20, pop 20 from Q and check it has child so we find the 15 and 7 so add them to the Q and then um, move down next level, so add 1 plus 1 to depths and uh, start iterating um, so pop the 15 from Q and uh, check uh, 15 has child or not and there is no child and how about 7, 7 also doesn't have child so finish looping, after that uh, just return depths uh, which is 3 so we successfully get a map maximum depth. So that is a basic idea to solve this question with breast first search. So with that being said, let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, if not root, in the case, just return zero. It's obvious. And uh, initialize Q. And this time we use dq. So to use dq, so we need to import right from corrections, import dq so after that q equal dq and uh, add root node to q so up q append root and initialize depths with cell and uh, start looping if q exists first of all add plus one to depths plus one so after that um, start looping um, like a level by level so how can we do that so for underscore in range and the length of current Q. So we don't we don't use uh, this uh, index number, so that's why uh, I write uh, like an underscore here, and then um, pop the first node from Q. So Q dot pop left, and then if node dot left exist so node has a left child then add left child to q so append node dot left and the same thing if node has right child then add right child um, to q so append node right so actually that's it after that, just return depths. That's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, this solution works. And uh, let me explain with this loop process. I think uh, somebody may think this is uh, complicated. So, so first of all, uh, we added a root node to Q here, and then start looping. So when we reach this for loop for the first time so length of q should be 1 only 3 so then um, pop left and then cut root node here 
and uh, we check the root node has left child and the right child and uh, as you can see this root node has left child and the right child so we added uh, both nodes to queue here but important thing is that the number of current looping is not affected by this append process so uh, at first this for loop execute just once for just a root node and then after that so we go back to this while and then so since we added uh, two nodes here so Q still have uh, uh, nodes like a 9 and 20 so that's why um, we can iterate through the like a uh, next down level like here and then uh, same process happen so now the length of q should be two so that's why uh, this for loop execute twice and then check the like a left child or right child and then same process happen then after that at some point um, so q will be empty then finish looping after that just return depths this is a step-by-step -step algorithm of maximum depth of binary tree. So for depth first search, step one, if root is none, return zero. So that is a base case. And step two, check each node with one plus max left side or right side. Then return max depth to upper node. That's it. So for breast first search, step one, if root is none, then return zero. If not the case, initialize Q with root and the uh, depth variable with zero. Step two, add plus one to depth variable before you start traversing next down level. While traversing tree, so pop the first node from Q and check it has child nodes. If you find them, add them to Q. Step three, when Q is empty, then finish traversing and return depth variable. And that's it. I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.